Hello and welcome back. Uh, in this episode I'm going to start the cleaning and um, sanding down and getting the water out on the boat. So what I'm going to be doing um, is I've covered the boat fully with tarpaulin um, and I'm going to be sanding in here. Um, I've got just got the water out. It was full up to sort of this level. So I've just got all the water out. Hopefully the tarpaulin will keep the water out. Um, until such time as I've put windows, a hatch and a canopy on it. Um, I've ordered the windows, I've got the rubber and I've ordered a new hatch for it, a new standard hatch to fit this rather than chopping it about. Um, so really it's just a case of now I'm going to sand, hoover and just prep everything inside here. So normally I start on the outside of a boat and work my way in um, and the reasons for that are usually because one there's a there's a cost to having a boat out of the water so if you can do the hull and everything first getting the water then you've got a bit more time to actually um, work on it and two um, if like this one um, it's on my lawn it's a bit of a pain in the, especially in the spring and early summer to move it to um, to mow the lawn and that um, but also it allows me to do things so if there's things that need addressing on the outside of the hut there's any holes or any um, through hole things that need putting in I can do that and I've still got access to the inside um, so you know some boats build panels and, and all sorts on top so it's just easier if the boat's stripped out in the inside for me to do the outside in. With this one um, I'm going to be doing it the opposite way around I'm going to be doing the inside first mostly and then the outside um, because the, I don't think the outside needs that much work. Um, I may put a through hole, hole, hole through uh, for bilge pump things like that but there's not a huge amount that needs doing um, and also because it's um, it's sort of middle of winter so it's, it's pretty cold at the moment 
and paint just if I'm, I'm painting anything it just won't dry um, so I, and, and I've got no rush to put it in the water either so um, I'm going to start on the inside do the inside work my way out to the outside cabin uh, and then once all or most of that's done um, I can have a look at the the outside of the boat there'll be some things I do but with, with this boat I won't be panelling a load of stuff so actually it's all easy access to stuff so if I need to put a through hole through I can just do that without having to take a load of stuff off so um, that works out fine <laughs> decided I'm going to remove these panels and recreate them um, because I've got loads of wood, yeah, enough wood to do it and they're, they're starting to rot a little tiny bit at the bottom in some place like the corner there so just replace them. Trying to keep it in relatively one piece so I can copy it.
Seus meus? I think this used to be a compartment where you could put a porta potty of some kind, but I'm just gonna strip it out and uh, paint it for now. So I managed to get the hoover going again and I've cleaned all the sides out now. So we're all ready with that. Uh, I've hoovered this bottom bit, but I just need to give it a clean, you know, actual, a little bit of a sand the floor sand and a clean but then uh, other than that this this will be done enough for painting in here now so I will turn my attention to the outside area
so that's it for today um, the inside's done and uh, pretty much ready for a coat of paint uh, the outside's uh, a lot clearer but could do with the sand and uh, a bit more of a clean I'm gonna see what I can get done um, over this coming weekend it's Friday today uh, so hopefully there'll be some more videos soon if you want to keep uh, up to date with them if you press subscribe and hit the bell next to it and select all it will it'll notify you of all the um, videos that I do